Well, just for a change, here's a crank assembly from a BSA B33 that a customer has brought in and I've got the crank cases and the main bearings with it. He's had the crank rebuilt with a new big end and he says that when he tried to put the cases together and close them up, the crank was uh, grabbing and binding and, well, generally locking up, it wouldn't turn. So um, he's brought it here for me to have a look at and see if I could see what might be wrong with it. And he told me, and I can see it, about this excessive side to side movement on the conrod, which might suggest that the flywheels or one of them perhaps are not pressed fully home. I put it in uh, between the centres as I often do before I start working on them just to sort of get some readings and um, if we look at that clock there on the timing side shaft we've got a run out of no more than two thousandths of an inch. On the drive side we've got about three thousandths of an inch there. The good news where these two are concerned is the needles are rising and falling together so you can pretty much cancel one out against the other so in the real terms we may only have about a thousandth of an inch run out there at the moment so at least it's been trued pretty well or very well in fact but I need to find out if I can squeeze these flywheels any closer together and one possible giveaway is that on the drive side the crank pin nut has actually just gone past the end of the crank pin there's just a tiny amount of crank pin shoulder sticking out beyond the nut whereas on the timing side it's uh, still slightly below it so um, I'm going to see if I can squeeze the timing side flywheel down towards the drive side flywheel a little more and subject to it moving obviously I'll check the main shafts for run out between the centres again and uh, carry on from there so Next step, I think, is get this in the fly press and see if I can shift that flywheel any closer to the other one and uh, take up some of that excessive side-to-side -side movement there on the uh, big end, because it shouldn't have that much, which uh, strongly suggests, along with this, that uh, the flywheel ought to move a little bit further in towards the other one. But I'll soon find out. Back with that BSA B33 crank assembly. And I've had an interesting uh, chunk of a day with this. It turned out I can only imagine that uh, the new crank pin that came with the new big end whenever it was uh, done and whoever did it, that the uh, fit into the flywheels, uh, the shoulders if you like of the crank pin must have been an oversized size because uh, the flywheels, I managed to get them some two possibly three millimeters roughly closer together I would say um, both flywheels moved on the crank pin not just the time inside one um, as I found out when I put it in the fly press and started pressing it and the crank pin nuts became loose and I was able to chase my uh, movements with the fly press with uh, finger and thumb and do up the crank pin nuts quite a way um, which I finally tightened obviously with a whopping great uh, socket and extension so they are really tight now um, there's only the tiniest side to side movement on the conrod which is what you'd expect really and um, the run out well here it is time inside showing a deviation of two thousandths of an inch and the drive side, oh, if, if it's two and a half thousandths of an inch, is no more. Um, they're not quite rising and falling at exactly the same time, but the high spots there, and the low spots there. So, a matter of two thousandths of an inch, two and a half. And the majority of that, you could certainly cancel one out with the other. I'm guessing that maybe we've got maybe one or one and a half thousandths of an inch actual run out there. And that is uh, very good indeed. So I'm going to put all the uh, relevant bearings and thrust washers and whatever on the main shafts next. And um, 
I'm pretty confident that the crankcases will go fully home with this crank inside now and the crank should be able to turn freely so uh, I'll be coming back to it when I've got the crank in position in the crankcases and we'll take a look and hopefully see that uh, all is well. Right, here's that BSA B33 bottom end whose crank I've been working on and I've got it all, uh, I've got it bolted together with three bolts that came along with it and uh, I made up for a few that are missing with the G cramp clamping that area there as well so the cases are clamped together nice and tightly all the uh, bearings and spacers thrust washers everything are in place and I've even got uh, a good coating of well seal on a crankcase joint this engine can stay together and be uh, the owner can continue building it up if he wants unless he's got any reason to want to open it up and have a look in there or whatever um, the crank I managed to uh, press the flywheels together by at least another two millimeters I would say they weren't pressed fully home and I think the reason for that was someone's fitted a new big end to it and maybe used a crank pin with uh, oversized shoulders where it fits into the flywheels as I know that they're available for lots of makes and models um, but I would have said that it probably didn't need an oversized crank pin or maybe not one as oversized as has been used I don't know what's in there um, but I think that's why I had quite a bit of trouble pressing the flywheels and closing them together that last bit but I've done it and the crank pin nuts are done up tightly and everything and it's spinning nice and freely so um, this is what I've got we've seen it in the lathe between centers and this is how it behaves in the engine it's rolling back on its counterbalance by itself nice and easy there so that's good spinning nice and freely quietly so that's all ready to go back and uh, the owner can carry on and complete the engine I'm pretty pleased with that nice uh, strong refreshed bottom end of a BSA B33 engine and I've got to say I'm pleased enough with it that as the boss around here I think I'm going to give myself the rest of the day off so take the rest of the day off Paul well, thank you very much, boss. I think I'll do just that.